How do I make 30 under 30? I think it's phenomenal. It's something that we all want when we're in our 20s to try to make the 30 under 30. Now, what I'll tell you is my first time applying, I had no insight at all and I didn't get it. And I was upset because my numbers were skyrocketing. I think personally I sold 310 homes and as a team I sold like right under a thousand. Like I crushed it. And so I was mad, number one. I took that anger and aggression and I said I'm gonna put that towards even doing better, but also I'm actually gonna be smart about this. I'm gonna reverse engineer the Realtor Magazine 30 under 30. And so what I did was I called everyone who made the 30 under 30, literally every single one of them, and I said, hey, this is Tyler, I didn't make it, I'm crushing it, I, I can give you some advice because obviously I'm selling a lot of homes, more than you because I know your numbers, right? But I'd like to know how you made it. You know, What advice can you give me? And as you guys know, people love to share things. And some of them were like, I don't got time for this, I'll talk to you later, buddy. But the majority of them took my call, answered it, and it's a great networking. So one, I was able to network by just trying to call these folks. Also what I learned was they don't just grade you off of your gross commission or your sales volume or your units. And I didn't know that, right? I had no clue. There's several other things they look at. And so when we were, I was talking to this one gal, I remember she told me, why would they want to put you in there? What do you do for them? Why are you different? You know, truly, why are you different? And I thought, well, I'm different in so many ways. And I started to write down everything I'm different with. Guys, you guys know me from the pizza guy, right? I had the pizza box. No other realtor was doing that. Put that on there. I'm different because I do these Ties 35s. They weren't even called the Ties 35s, but I do this stuff for my clients. And then I shipped them to Chicago. I said, here's what the pizza looks like. Can you imagine? They saw my resume and then they saw this pizza go, what the heck? And they're like, I get it. I get why this guy's different. And so what is your specialty? I specialized in clients and having a really big repeat and referral business. And I was able to articulate that to these folks through my Ties 35. Further, they look at what do you do outside of real estate, your personal life, you know, what do you do as far as giving back, you know, who are you helping? For me, they also mentioned SkySoap, my tech company that I just started, that was different. I'm doing real estate, but I also starting this tech thing. There's thousands of applicants. Why are you standing out? Just by filling out an application, you're not gonna stand out. Is there videos you could do? Can you actually, you know, repurpose Facebook ads that says, choose me for the 30 under 30, anyone who works at NAR? I mean, guys, I'm just throwing stuff out there of stuff I would do in today's world to get their attention. Uh, the letter of recommendations are really big. I think you have to submit two, if I remember right, I'm going off of memory. And the first year, they were just from my broker. Tyler's great, he's done this much volume, you should definitely use him. That, that's donkey, guys. I had two people that really care and respect me write really great testimonials. I mean, really good testimonials. And uh, that was another reason why it got me in the door. And so I think it's uh, if you're really serious about making it, um, you're gonna have to put the work in. It's something to achieve, it's something to fight for, and it's something that you can use um, to show your credibility, but don't think you're gonna get the 30 under 30 and it's gonna change your world. And, and for some, I'm just speaking for me, this is Tyler's opinion, for some, it did change their world. It didn't for me. I, I was doing great business, people didn't use me because of the 30 under 30, they used me because I was a great negotiator and I got the damn deal done, right? That's why they used me. Let me give you my biggest, the biggest takeaway for the 30 under 30. When you are the finalist for the 30 under 30 and you actually are one of the top 30, you get to go back to Chicago and you get to go to the, their annual event and it's pretty cool. Um, and you get to network with all these people and the best part still to today was in Chicago they had an after party and me and another realtor, um, Leo and Seychelle, uh, she's with KW or was with KW and we went out to a really nice uh, seafood place and we sat there I think for four hours and we just talked and to me that was the best part. And I wouldn't take anything back for that. I couldn't have paid for that right there. And still today, I'm, I'm great friends with Leo. We talk, we text almost once a week, twice a week, you know? Just, what's up, man? How you doing? Bouncing ideas off each other. He's hungry, I'm hungry, we're, we're, we're both killing it. And, and so, to me, that was the best part. Everyone thinks that they make 30 into 30 and they're gonna be able to use it to, to show that they're the best and they're, they're, they're in their market and they're young and, they're, and that's great. I think the networking is the best part of it. Um, there's, there's functions outside that you get to meet up with these folks. You get to give referrals to people that are just like you. Um, but the biggest thing for me was the relationships I built. And, and there weren't many of them. Those are the two. And the biggest one's really Leo, who I still stay in a constant contact with. Um, it's just you get to talk with these folks and I would have never had that relationship if it was not for the 30 and 30. So to me, that was the biggest takeaway. Although a lot of people go, I get to say I'm 30 and 30. To me, I didn't need that. Um, I was doing massive volume. I actually, the year I applied and didn't get it, I actually did more volume than the year I actually got accepted and, and approved. It, it's crazy. So um, I didn't need that, that title to get business. I was great at getting business, but that relationship is the best takeaway from it.